If your kitchen sink flexible water supply line is leaking, it's likely that the rubber gasket found on either end of the hose has deteriorated and failed. You should find hot and cold water supply shutoff valves under your sink. Turn off the water by turning the valves clockwise. Open the kitchen faucet taps to ensure that the shutoff valves are working. If water continues to flow, then you'll need to turn the water off at the main water supply. If you don't know how to find the main water supply shutoff valve, or you want to learn how to fix a shutoff valve, I have other videos to help you. Click on the channel name Know How Now after you've finished watching this video to find them. Above the water supply shutoff valves, you'll find one of the connections for the water supply hoses. Place an old towel under the connection to catch any water that may spill out. Then use a wrench to turn the nut on the water supply line counterclockwise. If any of these connections are stuck and you have to put a lot of torque on them, put a wrench on the fitting below the connection and then tighten or loosen your fitting. You don't want to uh, put too much torque on this copper pipe. Uh, you could crack solder joints or twist something. Sometimes the nut on the end of the connection won't spin freely and if it's fused fast to the body of the hose, while you're turning the nut, the whole hose will want to twist around and make it difficult to remove. If that happens, then try to disconnect the other end of the hose first. The other end of the hose is connected to the threads on the bottom of the faucet. It's likely that you won't be able to use a conventional wrench to turn this nut. You'll probably need a basin wrench to turn that nut. If the ends of the supply line are the plastic type with the little wings on them, you can make your own basin wrench out of a piece of PVC pipe. Use the basin wrench to loosen the connection. It's a good idea to take the old hose to the hardware store so that you get the correct replacement. The lengths can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. Depending on your application, you may need a hose with a half inch female iron pipe connection on each end, or perhaps a half inch female iron pipe connection and a 3 8 compression connection. Connect the new supply hose to the bottom of the faucet. Turn the nut clockwise. Tighten the connection using the basin wrench. And there's no need to over tighten this. You just need to make it snug enough so that rubber washer compresses against the bottom of the sink 
connection. Reconnect the other end of the supply line. Turn the nut clockwise until it's hand tight. Then snug up the connection with a wrench. It's a good idea to change both hoses at the same time. So repeat this process for the other hose. If the taps are open, close them. Turn on the water supply. Check for leaks. If you have any, snug up the connections a little bit and you're done. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated and thanks for watching.